Water is life. A simple statement that means so much. It is a fact that survival without water is next to impossible. But why? Why is it so important to us? Just imagine you wake up one fine day and find no water in the house for brushing your teeth, for having a bath, for cooking food and for all the activities that you perform daily. Don't forget, we need water to drink as well. So will this waterless day be any good? Of course not. We cannot even imagine a single day without water. Right from drinking water to cooking, right from cleaning ourselves to cleaning our clothes, there are numerous activities which involve the use of water. Nothing is possible in the absence of water. That is the reason why water is considered to be the most essential part of our lives. Surviving without water is not really thinkable. Not only humans, but even other organisms, right from the plants to other animals, need water for their survival. Can you guess the reason for this? Every living cell present on this earth has a high water content. All the substances required by a cell enter the membrane only by dissolving in water. That is the reason why organisms from a single-celled bacterium to a huge tree or animal, all organisms are dependent largely on water for their existence. So that was the reason why water is important in our lives. Now can you tell me how much water is actually used by us daily? I'm sure the amount will vary from person to person. But looking at the fact we are so dependent on water, the amount will surely be very high. Every human in each house requires a lot of water on a daily basis. So, imagine the amount of water required by all the humans that share this planet Earth. Have you ever wondered where does all this water come from? You may say water comes to my home through taps. But have you ever thought what could be the source of water? The major portion of the Earth is covered with saltwater bodies like oceans and seas. Only some amount of fresh water is available for human use. Out of all the fresh water available, most of it is locked in the form of glaciers and ice. So how do we get the water that we use daily? We have never even given it a thought to where does this water come from. In the upcoming videos, we will look at the major sources of water which we continuously access.